Welcome to this video. I'm gonna put together my spinning wheel and I'm also gonna spin my first yarn in this video. Not my first ever because I started with the drop spin a little while back, but on the spinning wheel it will be like the first time actually spinning yarn. I bought a spinning wheel for 35 bucks. It is just all new to be montaged. Everything is there, everything is complete. There's no question about the fact that this one will work. So a little bit about the spinning wheel. It is a stop horster spinning wheel. It's a Dutch one. It might have been popular back in the day. I don't know. I can't find anything on the internet about it. It's an Irish tension spinning wheel. So the drive band only drives the bobbin and then there's a brake brake band brake band brake band i'm not even sure there's a brake band on like the, the the flyer it took me about four days to get it ready i'm filming this intro after i've done it and i spun my first yarn today it is gonna be my new addiction my wallet is not gonna like me probably but that doesn't matter we're just gonna spin yarn Oh, and I'm possibly just gonna insert like the TikTok videos I created because I honestly don't want to edit everything again. I probably post more on TikTok than the shorts on YouTube, by the way. Just so you know, if you're on TikTok, just go check me out there. Links are where the links are. Let's prep like Dexter first. I'm using a cleaner that sands the wood at the same time. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Did I put myself well in the shot or not? All done. Now I have to wait till everything is fully dry. The next day. I'll be using linseed oil to treat the wood. I just linseed oiled all the pieces. The next day. Time for round two. Immediately going for round three. The final touches and we're done. Wiping off the excess linseed oil. All the pieces of my new spinning wheel are oiled. The whole can is empty. It was half a liter and it's all in there. It was pretty old wood, so it was really dry, and um, I think it could even use another coat, but I'm not gonna get another can of the linseed oil for it, so <laughs> just, I'm, I'm okay with how it is right now. I need to let it dry for 24 hours, and then it's ready to uh, be put together. The next day. It is time to assemble. I don't intend this part of the video to take up too much time, but I will film it pretty much all. But I hope I can actually start spinning either today or tomorrow, we'll see. Let's get copyright flagged as I show you the video that I put on TikTok. Let's put the spinning wheel together. Glue, glue. Probably not the smartest move. More glue. Checking to see how straight it is. There's a wobble. The wobble comes from the spokes. I'll have to figure something out another day. Okay, so the only thing I have left for this is this thing. I think this should be pressed on there, but I don't know how. I ended up gluing it on there. 
final one. So here it is. Okay, I need to adjust some things, but it's done. And it's pretty. Let's go to Hornbach to get some machine oil. Here we go. It's household oil. It's very simple and the price is even better because if you have spinning wheel oil, it's 30 milliliters for like 10 bucks. This one is 100 milliliters for not even three bucks. It's a day after. It is morning, it is 8.30, it is still getting light outside, so sorry if this quality isn't like the best, but I wanted to get started. If you're anything like me, you get excited about shit like this. So I woke up and all I wanted to do was just try out the wheel. I already showed a clip of it, but I bought the household oil. I oiled the parts, I didn't film it, but... I oiled the parts by the wheel and just everything that needs to be oiled. So I added a rubber band to the threadle thing because the cap didn't stay on when I glued it. It seems to work fine with the elastic on it, so I hope that will hold for a little bit until I find the right cap that I can actually put on there. So I already started a little bit this morning to get it to work and just to start to get a feel for it. I didn't want to film everything because I don't like showing everything I'm trying out. But okay, so far what I figured out, this is an Irish tension wheel, which means that the drive band only drives the bobbin and there's a brake band on the flyer. I have this little knob here and that's how you can tighten and loosen it. I don't know how to work the tension thing yet, but we'll figure it out as we go. So I just added a strand of this yarn because I saw this Gillian Eve video about starting or learning to uh, use the wheel and at first it's it's good to get a feel for it while plying. I have this cotton yarn, I believe it's Schreepjes yarn. I'm gonna apply this. So I am going to use this bit, bit as a leader, the bit I already put on here. Uh, let me just add a knot to it and then we'll get started. All right, so here is my leader and I'm just going to, I don't know, let's just do this and let's get started. The tension is inside enough, so I'm just going to um, twist it a little bit. There we go. As you can see, it's not eating up the yarn quickly. Like if I keep my hands here, it's not taking up the yarn. I'm just figuring out the tension thing right now because I don't know what I'm doing. I think I might try to set it a little bit higher, add a little bit more tension to the brake to see how it goes. It seems to twist really slowly. Okay, yeah, the last bit seems to be getting on there better. I'm just gonna tighten the brake a little bit to see what that does. I feel like that's the key. Again, I'm gonna try to tighten the tension. Okay, and now it's almost getting ripped out of my hands. Oh, oh shit. Oh wow, that's been way earlier because that's not the part that I just did. Okay, I feel like the tension on the brake is uh, good now. That's it. So there you have it. This is my first plied yarn. As you can see, especially here, it started to get like uniform. I really like the process, like I expected to like the process, but actually doing it and actually feeling it, I love it already. I'm gonna do a little bit more research after I take this stuff off the bobbin and then I am gonna spin the sheep fleece. Maybe not, should I do it in this video? Hell yeah, we're gonna do it in this video. Duh! All right, are you ready for round two? So I've got this wool. I already made some rolls out of it. And I'm just gonna use this thing here to just put it over there so I can just grab them when I feel like I need another one. I don't want to make too many um, 
I need to stop grabbing that one. <laughs> I really need to stop grabbing it. I only now notice that all the hooks on the flyer are on one side. During it. Oh my gosh, that's too thin. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Or I just needed to put my foot further in front. I'm gonna add a little bit more tension to the brake thing. Hold up. Nope. <laughs> Okay, no, little less tension. <laughs> it just freaking ripped it out of my hands. <laughs> oh, I feel like I need to add more tension on it and then less and then more and... Oh, no, other way. No, yeah, no, yes. There we go. Am I blocking the view with this one? <laughs> I feel like I don't have much to say because I am just enjoying the process and i'm a little bit tired so well just sitting here oh shit there it went oh that was some really thin yarn <laughs> art yarn unfortunately not on purpose but whatever <laughs> it's funny as with everything every now and then suddenly there's a flow going and suddenly the flow just leaves the freaking building and you're struggling for five minutes, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I guess that's just the learning process when you are learning new things. I think this is it. I just decided that I'm gonna make like sort of a vlog video about my first month of spinning. So definitely look out for that. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna spin. Of course, I wanna spin quite a bit. All right, let me focus while saying goodbye to you. I hope you liked the video. This has been, what, five days in the making. I was in my zone this week. I felt calm, I felt introverted, so I didn't speak too much probably. I am really excited to make yarn. I wanna buy all this shit. This is, this is not good though, because I also want to buy a bunch of yarn for crochet and now I want to buy a bunch of fleece for uh, spinning. I'm just gonna have to crochet with the things I spin. That's just a conclusion here. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like the video. It really helps the channel uh, and subscribe if you want to see more, of course. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Goodbye!